Well, we are Ubisoft that has absolutely no relation whatsoever to any current companies or anything like that. So, we're currently researching internet multiplayer, our re latest game, Larry's Assassin Adventure, an uh, eroticism assassin game. We actually did pretty well with that, so we earned a lot of money, but we're still bleeding fans, so... Basically, what we should be doing at... Ooh, and we also got some increased dough from people using our engine, so... What we really should be doing at this point in time is either expanding our facilities... Or... Try something different. I just realized that if I'm going to go forward with the plan I had... Uh, we are going to need to expand our facility, so... We had a small office building, so we can either buy the large office warehouse, but that's going to cost us all our money. We could use the large office building. Uh, right now, we have about 256 spaces. We can either, either double that, or we could just go for the large warehouse immediately, and I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. However, that also means we have to pretty much build the office up again from scratch, so... Uh, we're gonna we're going to actually do that. We're gonna automatically place objects. So we're gonna have two six by six development rooms here. This is gonna cost us some money, and I'm not really happy. Oh wait, uh, that's actually a huge mistake. I just realized. So we're gonna remove that room. Yes, I said we remove that room. And we remove that room, and we don't get the money back for that, sadly. Uh, but we are gonna make, instead of that, we're gonna make a 12x5 development surface, right there. And we get, we can get another 12x, we can get a slightly smaller development surface here. And then we'll add the toilets right behind there. We don't need ex toilet, that expensive toilet either, so uh, we'll add a research that's also going to be 12x5 right there. So research department is going to be a bit nicer. And I need to keep an eye on the money as well. And uh, I think we are gonna go with a uh, quality assurance on the opposite end. Uh, that can be... Yeah, I don't think we need more. Or we could just, you know, make it so it actually fits into the room. So, the quality assurance is up, and that means we should also get a graphics studio. Uh, let's see here, graphics studio, graphics studio. Uh, w we could begin with the music studio, 6x6. Six six. Uh... I would actually want it to be bigger though, so we're gonna go to delete that, and let's see, where is the graphic studio? So we're actually gonna make it that size, um, because then we have a lot, and then music studio, basically the same size. Uh, however, the music studio apparently requires, you know, more space and stuff like that. So, then we have the research department. The research department can be a big... We can, oh, wait. I already placed down the research department, didn't I? Yes, I did. So, we also need a head office. So, since I'm the boss, the head office will be small, but it's also going to be near the toilets and our brand new staff room. So, I'll see where that's where the staff room is, and it's going to be a nice one. And then I also want a marketing room. The marketing room doesn't need to be that big, 5x5. Five five. And then we're also going to take care of our fans with a customer support uh, department. So it's going to be a bit smaller. The entire office is going to have a bit more air into it. And let's see, we could... 
we could actually get ourselves a motion capture, but I don't think that's that. I mean, it's yeah. I think we're gonna get ourselves a motion capture department. So um, there we have it. And we're also going to add a server room. Not a big one at start. I mean, just 4 million player capacity. Uh, I would like to add a production room, but we really can't afford it. And the problem is that establishing our new office has basically drained a lot of funds. And we don't have any contract work to try and, try and get back with. So, worst case scenario, we have to borrow money to get a quick game out on the market. And our fans are not very happy, so we're gonna s start a fan campaign that's going to be basically just, yeah, signature calls on repeat. So at least now our fans are happy. And uh, I think that the best way for us to bounce back from this is going to be develop a remaster. Uh, we could remaster Assassin's Promise, I don't think we've actually done that. Yeah, we're going to re remaster Assassin's Promise as a B plus game because B plus is and since it's a platform uh, yeah, looks good. And we're gonna deploy it for the personal computer, the pony game station, the, um, the N63 and the well, the Apple is far more cheaper to develop for so we're gonna do that entry team additional operators have just arrived and welcome operators to the stream i hope you are enjoying this little show and tell of me running a game company and uh, like i said this company have absolutely nothing to do with any you know real companies or stuff like that the name is just a complete coincidence so now we'll choose the features however we need to actually remove features so we don't need LAN multiplayer we don't need split screen multiplayer and uh, this is gonna be tricky in fact if we're doing this we might as well you know do a proper double a game of it so I mean we're gonna have to borrow money for this game anyway so let's just add all the features and basically go to the bank because we are gonna need money lots of money so we're gonna borrow 1.5 million about to finance this project and of course we're going to make sure that graphics are improved sounds are improved uh, we actually don't, we're actually not able to uh, fix up uh, anything with the motion capture, but we're on it. We're on it Well, at least that's the general idea so Right now we are res oh crap we ac we actually have to borrow more money Because we're still in in the red So we've borrowed three million and we didn't get any game of the year or anything like that. Larry's Assassin's Adventure is still on sale though, so it's not all bad, but it's not all good either. I mean, it could be really... And we're still in an economic crisis, so I can't use my double development spaces in order to just rush through some contract work either. And that's really annoying. In fact, I would say that considering that the monthly interest is 22 per month we might be in a bad spot here uh, also we're gonna have you guys in quality control make sure okay so Larry's Assassin's Adventure made us 4 million but it's now taken off the market so our only hope for money now is either that the economic crisis will end or this happens, that we get money from people buying our engines. I have a little idea about what I want to do next, but I'll have to get this game out the door first. And once the game is out the door, we should hopefully... Uh, yeah, the economic crisis seems to be over, so at least we got that going for us, which is nice. 
And our fans are pretty happy, so let's just stop the automation because frankly we can't afford it. And we don't really need to keep our fans. Uh, I mean, keeping our money above sea level is the far more... So we're gonna execute that contract, meaning that some of the free people are now going to rush to the free development space and we also going to improve the animations and we don't have enough money for that. Uh, fortunately our bank is accommodating us. I don't know for how long they will actually do that though. And uh, yeah. Uh, but it seems like both the audio lab and the music and the graphics lab are done with their stuff. So it's basically just a quality assurance left. And I realize I haven't really made this office in a reasonable way. I mean, what I really would like to do is to establish production capability. Because production capability can bring in some really good cash. However, that's expensive. I mean, a production room is at least 200,000. I'm gonna see exactly how expensive the printers themselves can be, because basically they can pay for themselves. Yeah, we're actually going to do that. This is another huge risk, but I'm gonna do it for the simple reason that we are heavily in debt, and we are going to need... Oh, come on! Another economic crisis? Alright, so let's see if we can actually even fit a production room here. It doesn't seem like we can. Not without moving something. So we're actually going to remove this entire room, and we're going to remove this room. And we are gonna set up our... Uh, production room here I'm just gonna double check so yeah um, everything seems in order there we have it and then we have the production contracts here that we are automatically going to just execute because hopefully we can get it all done and if we get that all done everything should be good for us and then we can re-establish our customer support department over here apparently we ran out of money so we couldn't place down all the desks we needed either and now we are going backwards in money uh, let's see here no we can't actually publish the game now I think I'm going to run this company into bankruptcy because I don't think whatever we do with this game, uh, I don't think we can actually bounce back from... Yeah, we have to... Let's just swallow it all and just go for the maximum loan. Yeah, so we can keep ourselves afloat and... We're gonna restart our fan campaign and make sure we do some telemarketing calls. Apparently our production capability is at least working nicely, so we'll have that source of extra income. But with the economic can't, economic recession currently going on, we are in trouble. We are indeed in trouble, and I don't really want to know how much trouble. I mean, in fact, I'm going to repay some of my credit. We don't need 7 million, and we don't certainly do not need all the interest payments. So we basically just cut our interest payments in half by repaying some of the loan. However, the machines and the salaries and everything costs money. And apparently we failed one of the contracts. So that's not good either. In fact, that's actually quite horrible. So stop the automation on the telemarketing calls. And let's hope we actually can complete the next one. I also noticed that the Sega Marker were actually taken off the market. And that means that 
we are in a better spot because we chose not to, to develop for the Sega Marker. So the telemarketing calls are done and hopefully the game should be done soon as well. Yeah, all we have to do now is remove the bugs and then we can release the game. Now, the fact that we have our own pro uh, production capacity actually means we can self-publish. Oh, thank you, I really needed that. They used our engine and we got the money for it. And, however, since we are, for us, self-producing would be a horrible risk. And I mean, a really, really horrible risk. Uh, also, ex automatically execute these contracts, please. Bugs are gone, and another person have another company have licensed our engine. So we're just simply gonna try and find a decent. Um, however, it doesn't seem like platform are that much in. The Qatari have a nice market strength. They have a lousy share, but we're actually gonna give this to Qatari, and well, the game got 84%. That's really nice. So, with their market share and the fact that we're releasing it for four consoles, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna see how the development costs are going to go on this one. But right now, sales are looking good. We are turning a profit on this one. We're actually turning a pretty decent profit. So, let's research all these, fe all these features while we have the money for it. And then we are preparing to launch a massive undertaking. Once that is done. I mean, it's 2001, so basically what we're about to do... Ooh, the Xbox is available. Now, usually what's, what is a popular console is not really set in stone. Oh, the Pony Game Station 2 has been released too. So, we're actually going to get a dev kit for that and a dev kit for the iBox. And our game, ha Assassin's Promise Remaster, have sold more than a million and given us more than a, in about two millions in, in profits. Oh, the Play Cube also got release so the play cube is also kind of expensive but let's get it and for the re our platformer one engine seems to be very popular so we're going with that and our next research is the force feedback so we are gonna have to stay on our loans for a while and I don't like that but it's not ooh, destructible environment we do not participate. I think I got the entire pronunciation of we do not participate down to a T at this point. At least that's what it feels like, so. Alright, so now we are going to improve our old engine. We, uh, we have a shooter engine that is going to be completely... We don't need force feedback for it. We and so force feedback support is not necessary but the rest of it uh, we are going to improve and it's still gonna cost 20 percent of their uh, for anyone who wants to actually use it so of course to pay for themselves the production room must keep on going uh, however the contract we just accepted was a bad one since they want us to print almost 5 million uh, oh, as quickly as possible. Also, our profits from Assassin's Promise is up to 3 million. And I'm worried about that contract. Not, And we don't have a free development space, but we are do, pushing out our contracts and more money from using our engines. That's nice. So, I think we overcome the little bit of a hurdle we had there and once ooh, more money from our engine and people really like licensing our engines and they basically licensing engines pay for themselves so here's what we're gonna do a tri double a game uh, let's call it cloud 5 
it's gonna be wait I, I just realized we can do this the better way we we simply develop a sequel to cloud 5 and we it's not gonna be a retail game it's gonna be an MMO but what are we gonna call it um I don't really know what I should name it. I mean, it should obviously have some kind of name. Cloud 5-2. Mass. Not really Mass Assault, but... Of course. We'll call it Hawk Sword, and if you don't know why, ask someone. Preferably me, since I know exactly what that will reference. Uh, oh, wait, that doesn't work. Uh, Cloud 5-2 Hawk Sword doesn't work. Um, I need to find the right word, because I really want to make this a reference perfect. But I need to really think about it as well, and that's, that's the problem. Uh, because I had to change it in the last minute, so... Uh, let's call it... Uh, Let's just call it Maverick Bow. I was trying to find basically the opposite of Rogue Spear because Cloud 5 is obviously a spoof on Rainbow Six. And oh, sorry, I forgot I should not. I mean, there never was a company ever close to Ubisoft or anything like that. It's just a figment of my imagination. So. Uh, the Apple Muck is actually right now the better console to develop for, and I don't really know if I should develop for the Pony Game Station or the Play Cube because I want to sell more games, and selling more games, I mean, we, if we develop for the Pony Game Station, I mean, it's just a decent market share, a lot of games. I mean, we uh, we are experienced in doing that. But I know how much the Pony Game Station is most likely going to blow up, and if we can help with that, uh, that would actually be better. So we're gonna go with this combination of platforms. And of course we're not... I'm gonna check my concepts, because from game concepts you can pretty much just copy-paste stuff, and that's what we're doing. We don't even need to do so, because the game is already copy pasting itself so now we'll take out the vr 3d support it's not needed an mmo doesn't have a level editor and it's gonna be development cost of 12 million damn and it's not gonna have a lan multiplayer so we're basically just gonna go with all out here with a maximum investment uh, and the subscription price is gonna be five bucks. And we lost the contract. Frick. Come on, improve graphics. Improve sound. Now, I want to really to stress, we can't. Really can't. Um, get more money from the bank now. We have to stay afloat on our... Oh, crap. We failed. Uh, we have to uh, deliver this. Oh, crap. This is, this, is not, this is not good at all. So, I'm basically just going to put some... Some spare programmers I just hired to do the office work. And they're not going to be able to make it to them. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll hire you. We'll hire you. And we'll hire you. Because right now we are on the brink. Either we... Ah, crap. We're not going to make this. We are not going to make this. I think we are going to go bankrupt before this... Ah, if we had to pay another fine to the client... And we can't borrow more money. I mean, we are at maximum. Yeah, our financial reserves are fully depleted. So, I lost. 
that's sadly the proof of it because we don't we can't sell any shares of subsidiaries we can't borrow more money and apparently our uh, production contracts and everything doesn't really work we can't sell our stuff so this game is effectively over it wasn't really how i anticipated this to be over but I think that trying to develop an MMO was a too terrible risk for us to actually do. And sadly, that risk did not pay off for us. So, the company of Ubisoft has been forgotten in the annals of history. And we shall see if it makes a meteoric rise again at some point in the future. Or maybe not. We'll see about that. So catch you guys later.